Shalom, friends. A long time ago, in a galaxy not too far away, because it's in fact this galaxy, I was a devout Orthodox Jew. I'm not anymore, and while there are a lot of factors that contributed to that unexpected spiritual plot twist, I'm gonna be real in no small way. Twas the misogyny that got me. But leaving a community or practice doesn't necessarily mean you just stop caring, like, bye, I'm out, peace, good luck. I still closely paid attention to and supported feminist orthodox organizations and groups who are out here trying to address the problems, to fix what is broken, to heal the hurt. And one such organization that I have so much love for is Chachmat Nashim. They advocate for Agunot, they offer resources like halachic pre- and post nup agreements, which are so vital for everybody to normalize. They created this brilliant project called Rate My Beit Din. It's like Yelp, but for Jewish divorce courts. Did I leave a review for the court I went to? I did, I did, because I want to help other people make informed decisions and hold a very broken system accountable through transparency. Here's another thing that they do. There is this really creepy, insidious, extremist trend in some Jewish communities to never publicly show a picture of a woman's face or sometimes even her name. I'm feeling a lot of rage. So what did Chachmat and Ashim do? They created a whole collection of stock photos that included images of Jewish women going about their daily lives, doing things like praying and celebrating holidays and having careers and just existing. Oh my God, someone get the smelling salts. On a personal level, when I started making Doff Reactions videos, people had a lot of strong negative feelings about what I was doing. And Chachma Nashim was actually one of the first Orthodox groups to really see me, to see that I had love for Judaism and Am Yisrael, and that was the driving force of my life. And, you know, it was just manifesting in a slightly different, unexpected way. Right now, Chachma Nashim is running their 2024 fundraising campaign so they can keep doing all of these amazing projects. They can do what they do best. So I'm putting the link in bio for anybody who would like to join me in supporting this work. No more Agunot, no more erasure, no more marginalization of women's voices in Judaism, no matter what denomination we might be in.